What's up guys, today we're talking about shadowing. Let's get right into it. So job shadowing is done in all sorts of fields, not just dentistry, but the actual definition is, shadowing is an informal way for someone to learn what it is like to perform a particular job at a workplace. An individual follows around or shadows the worker already in that role. So just like that said, you are literally their shadow. So in the field of dentistry, you're going to follow around the dentist, maybe some hygienists or assistants as well, and see what they do on a regular basis. So in addition to that definition, I would say that also sometimes with dentistry specifically, you can also have that, the chance to uh, do some of the procedures, which is always a really fun and exciting experience. They're not gonna make you do anything crazy, or they, or they legally can't even let you do anything crazy, but you might be able to do some cleanings or just flossing and just touching the teeth sometimes is just fun. And if you're lucky, you might even be able to do some of the simple parts of procedures. The greatest education in the world is watching the masters at work. If you want to be great at anything, then the, the trick to doing that is actually to find a mentor and to follow them on a day-to-day -to -day basis. You can watch what they do at work, you can watch how they do what they do, you can watch how they interact with people. And what's really cool about shadowing a dentist is that you're going to learn valuable lessons that you wouldn't learn in an academic setting, just because you have it right there in person. Before I got accepted into dental school, I did a lot of shadowing, uh, and in my experiences, I actually got no hands-on experience. I did volunteer in a refugee clinic um, for a couple months, but that wasn't shadowing, so I don't count that. My favorite part of shadowing was actually in between patients, where uh, I was able to get to know the dentist a little more, and be able to ask them personal questions about their life or anything else that was on my mind. A few good questions that you might want to consider asking your dentist when you shadow them is what procedure did you just do and why? You could ask them to define some of the terms they use that you've noticed used frequently, such as what does mesial mean, buccal, lingual, what is a class two restoration? You know, there's a lot of vocab that dentists like to use, so you could learn what some of those uh, definitions are. And one question that I always think is really interesting is to ask them if they could go back to college would they still choose dentistry? I always think it's interesting to hear their responses because everyone has a different story. And so you can learn a little bit more about the dentist, but also find out if dentistry is really what you want to do as well. So a lot of people don't realize this, but you can actually keep shadowing while in dental school. And I might even say that you should keep shadowing while in dental school. It's a super helpful way to learn about dentistry. And it's even more beneficial while you're in dental school than, what, than it was before, because now you have a foundation to grow on, and now you're focused on the details of how dentists do it. It's basically the ideal learning environment where you're watching a master do their work, and you're not gonna be tested on it, so you're not stressed. And one of the coolest things about shadowing after you've started is that you could get a lot more involved uh, in a lot of the shadowing. So if you shadow in your school, um, some of the professors might know you and might trust you, and so you might be able to do a little bit more of the procedures. An interesting aspect of shadowing that you may not have considered is that it's actually a really good networking opportunity as well. I have a few friends that actually got along with their dentist so well that they were actually offered a job as a dental assistant to come uh, and work for them, which is a way better experience than shadowing, in my opinion. <laughs> Obviously that's not the purpose of shadowing, so I wouldn't suggest going into the shadowing experience hoping to get a job offer by any means. Um, just go in trying to create relationships with uh, whoever's working there and with the patients and just learn about the dental field. So in summary, shadowing is a great opportunity for you to see what dentists really do all day and you should be excited to go do it. It helps you to learn about the dental field and also what kind of provider you might want to be one day. Wait, before you click on the next video, if you are getting value from this one, I would really appreciate it if you would drop a like. And if you wanna learn more about the field of dentistry and how I and so many other people are getting into dental school and succeeding while we're there, then subscribe. All right, that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see ya in the next one.